So today marks week six of no popper energy drinks. But as most of you could have seen, I had a drink of Diet Coke, just one, because I ate a whole handful full of green beans. And I don't like vegetables. So then I decided to reward myself with just one swig of Diet Coke. Just one. So it's Father's Day and we don't have any kids, but we got dogs. So I took Matt out to eat. It was a surprise. And then we decided, well, we'll go watch a movie because we haven't seen a movie in forever. So we went and see Tag. It was good. But then I realized, you know how hard it is to watch a movie when you don't drink pop? How has your week been? Because ours has been busy. We had the daddy-daughter dance last night. And I think it's kind of ironic that I host the daddy-daughter dance in both cases. You know one thing I found out today? I really need a pedicure and I am afraid to get one. And I know that's totally and probably not where you thought this video was gonna go. But my feet are like ridiculous. Like if I was in New York City and I had to take off my shoes for any reason and they saw the bottom of my feet, they'd be like, this girl's a hillbilly, no doubt about it. What the crap did you, was she homeless? I'm scared to death to get pedicures and it's not because they hurt or anything. They're magnificent. I tell you, the one in the scary mall where you think you're gonna get shot walking to it, but they do like stones and towels and it's amazing. But anyway, I went and got a pedicure like a few years back and this guy was laughing at me and talking in his little gibberish that I can't understand. All I could understand was whenever he said cheese grater. And I never go get pedicures by myself because my feet are a little ticklish. And whenever they start like cheese grating the bottom of my feet or pumice stoning or whatever, like whatever contraptions that they pull out to make my feet silky smooth, I just fiddle around in the chair and I look ridiculous when I'm there by myself. I look like I'm having a fit. So I bring someone with me so I can like try to talk and be like, ah! <laughs> back to this fella so he was like talking and pointing at my feet making it obvious that he was talking about me like at least if you're going to talk about me in a language that i can't understand which i mean is neither here nor there maybe i should learn vietnamese or whatever they were speaking i'm pretty sure he's vietnamese but anyway he may be something else but if you're going to talk about me you need to at least make it seem like you're not talking about me especially whenever i'm paying you to scrub the calluses off my feet. And they're pretty bad. Right now they're really bad because I have not had a pedicure. Because teachers don't make no money. Do you remember the two week walkout or was that just me? So anyway, this guy's going on and on about my feet. And then he's asking me like, do I wear flip flops? Like, uh, yeah. Do I lotion my feet uh, when I can reach them? Do I wear socks to bed with some oils or lotion? No. Who wears socks to bed? That's weird. Then he goes back and talking about my feet again. So I'm like embarrassed by the time I'm done. And I'm like, I am never going back to him either. And he's like yelling in his language and English. Yelling throughout this place. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he thinks he's funny and I'm getting mortified. Yeah, and then they charged me extra because I had little toenails to paint. I should be getting a discount for not having to use that much fingernail polish. I'll show you what my feet look like at the end of this video. I know you guys are just dying to see it. And some people get weirded out about feet. I don't. I actually think it's kind of funny to rub my scaly feet up against Matt when he's trying to go to sleep. Because uh, he keeps me up with his snoring. The least I can do is scratch the crap out of him with my toenails and my foot. Uh... Um, calluses. They're called calluses. I had a brain fart. So how many of you have had an embarrassing moment? Like, I do crazy stuff to my hair, but I never have, like, you know, surprise head lice or something. I, I don't know. That's probably a bad reference. But I don't know if I go get a pedicure without secretly thinking these people hate me right now. So 
there you have it. That's what country bumpkin feet look like. Not, not particularly. I'm not categorizing everybody that's a country bumpkin to have weird feet, but I guess it's from my flip flops and my lack of sock wearing when I go to bed. That's just weird though. How many of you sleep in socks? I, I'd really like to know because I think it's weird. Like, I don't wear socks normally, like with shoes or something. Maybe that's some of my problem. But I definitely don't wear them when I'm going to bed. I mean, what about this hair right now? This is crazy. I'm surprised Matt puts up with me. And my scratching feet. Anyway, here's to week six. I'm going strong trying vegetables who knows what this world's gonna come to the pink's fading in my hair i'm gonna be normal again that'll be good yeah i think i'm gonna go red next time like real red i think i think i could pull it off maybe not to sound conceited but hair colors are the one thing that i really don't have much problem with now feet that's a different story so see you later Good night, everyone. <laughs> this is weird. I don't like it.